Canelo versus Jaime Munguia is happening since Canelo is still ducking David Benavides. But who will actually win this fight? Well, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Canelo fought John Ryder, in which Canelo completely destroyed John Ryder and even dropped him in round five. Like uh, uh, Chris said earlier, well, and a one, two. And after this, Canelo completely outlanded John Ryder and won by decision. And still, the after this, Canelo went on to fight Jamal Charlo, in which Canelo literally won every single round. Jamal Charlo just went there to survive, and Canelo even dropped him in round seven. It's back and lands a big right hand on Jamal. And Canelo won by decision. Now let's take a look at Jaime Munguia's latest performances, in which he fought Sergio, in which both went back and forth, both landed some great shots, and Jaime Munguia even got rocked in round five. Pacheco has his best moments right after he gets hurt. But then dropped Sergi in round 12. Up on that left hook. Body shot by Munguia. And down goes Gary Vincenzo. And Jaime Munguia won by decision. He is still undefeated and now the new. After this, he went on to fight John Ryder in which he dropped him in round 2. First time. Good right hand there from Munguia. Caught him again. Dropped him in round 4 and then dropped him twice in round 9. Whoa, and that one shows the show. Can he do something? And then John Ryder's team seen enough and stopped the fight in round nine. They're ringing the bell. They're stopping it. Kendall Alvarez, are you watching? Now, if this fight does turn out to be 100% confirmed and it actually does end up happening, then let's just be happy that we got it because it's better than Canelo Duck and Jaime Munguia to fight other fighters who are maybe somewhat good with power and skill but lack high-level experience because nobody wants to see that. But I'm still not content with Canelo's decision because I see what he's doing. He wants to get all these fights, whether they're challenging or whether they're somewhat challenging, as a way to build up his resume and his hype one more time before fighting the final boss, David Benavides, which, like I said, I don't mind him fighting Jaime Munguia first, which I know is holding things back, but as long as he fights David Benavides, then I'm okay with it because that's what boxing needs. And actually, you could see Jaime Munguia giving Canelo a challenge because if Jaime Munguia goes in there with the mindset of wanting to win and wanting to prove something, then he actually might make Canelo work throughout the whole fight. But he better not do what Charlo did, which is to go in there with the mindset of just not wanting to get knocked out. But anyways, like I said, I think if Jaime Munguia stays active and on alert throughout the whole fight and controls the pace of the fight here and there while not letting Canelo walk him around, then I actually do believe that he could give Canelo a challenge and might actually win the fight. I don't see him knocking out Canelo, but like I said, if he lets his hands go and if he stays active throughout that whole fight, he actually might win by decision.